Hi friends, hunter, fisher, trapper, trader, guide, scout, and interpreter, and country cook Steve Hall here with another great recipe aboard the beautiful Miss Sheila houseboat as we're cruising and cooking today. Today we're going to make venison meatloaf. Now I like to mix it about 50-50 oh, with venison hamburger and beef burger. And today we've got actually about a pound of venison burger and only about a half pound of beef. But I like to put the beef in there, it gives a little more fat because the, the venison burger is so lean. Now in this we're going to mix in about three quarters of a cup of Quaker oats. That's the real the one minute stuff that mixes up real quick or cooks up real quick. We're going to put in one medium onion chopped up which equals about a cup. If you don't, uh, don't want to count on large and medium onions for a quantity. We're going to put in one egg beaten. Now this is yolk and the white together. Beaten in there. I like green peppers. It's just green bell peppers kind of chopped up. About a half a cup is good enough. I should have chopped these up a little finer, but I didn't. Here we go. We're going to put in about, about a one and a quarter teaspoons of salt. It needs pretty good salt in there. And only about a half a teaspoon of your pepper goes in this meatloaf. About that right there. That looks good. All right. We're going to put in about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I never could say that, so that's what it is. It's called Worcestershire, but about a tablespoon. Makes the meat kind of meaty, steaky flavor. Now we're going to get our hands in here and mix this together. We got our egg, all our salt and pepper, our Quaker oats in there. We're going to put this in a 9 by 13 pan. We're going to shape it out and put a sauce on top of it. And I'll tell you, my Uncle Bob says he likes this recipe the best. He's tried meatloaf everywhere. He said half of it ain't fit to eat. And he's a pretty opinionated guy. He said, you got to try Aunt Shirley's meatloaf. I said, all right, let me give it a try. I loved it and included it in this cooking segment today. But this is another good recipe to prove to you that you should not give your venison hamburger to the neighbors. And better yet, make a batch of this, take it over to them, and don't tell them what it is. And then the next time they say, you know, I don't really like venison, it's gamey. Say, well, you had venison meatloaf last Saturday at my place, and you didn't say nothing about it other than it was delicious. All right, and get our pan going here. 9 by 13 pan. Flop this meat out in here. We're going to shape this into a nice little loaf, about 3 inches high, all the way across. Just enough to make it into some nice slices once it's done cooking. And the dandy part about this is I love cold meatloaf sandwiches to take to the deer stand. The next day after you're done eating, if there's any left, which there probably won't be, I usually make two of them so I have some extra to put in the refrigerator. Slice it up cold and make venison meatloaf sandwiches to take to the deer stand and it is a treat. Now that's looking pretty good right there. We got a little loaf made about three inches high. We shaped it in and we put a little trough in the top of this here because that's where we're going to put our sauce. Now the sauce that Shirley makes, and I really like it, is about a third of a cup of ketchup, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and one tablespoon of mustard. We've mixed this all together and we're going to put it on top of our meatloaf here. Steve, don't forget to tell them about a brand new barbecue sauce. That's right. I've almost forgot. Thank you, Sheila. Say hi to everybody. There you go. We got a brand new barbecue sauce that is so new that we don't even have a label on it yet. But I'm going to add a little bit of this to the already existing sauce because I love this stuff so much. We call it our Smoky Sweet Shotgun Reds Barbecue Sauce. Mm, that stuff is absolutely wonderful. So let's stir this up. We'll mix it in with Shirley's sauce. I'm going to put this on top of our meatloaf. Paint it in this little trough right here. Kind of cheat it over the sides. We don't really want to get it down on the pan because then it will burn when it bakes. And We're going to put this in the oven. This is easy. 350 degrees for one hour even. Alright, I think that looks good right there. Put a few little 
trails through it there to get it just even all the way around. All right, fantastic. I'm sorry, hold on a second. Mm, that is wonderful. So we got all our ingredients mixed together. Got our sauce on top, all our ingredients in our meat. We're going to pop it in the oven at 350 degrees for about one hour. And then we're going to let it cool down and slice it and see how delicious this venison meatloaf is. Let's pop it in the oven right now. All right, we took this out of the oven, let it cool down just a little bit to kind of firm up. I made me a little slice to make sure it got done all the way through. And this stuff is looking wonderful. I'm going to get a couple slices here to put on our, on our plate with our mac and cheese. A little macaroni and cheese along with this stuff will go just absolutely wonderful. Man, this turned out wonderful. I couldn't be happier. See if we can get a little bit of this up on the plate. Looky here, looky here. And again, like I said, the cool part about this recipe is makes a great lunch for everybody when they come in from hunting camp. But the next day when they go out, say that, sit that noon hunt between like 10 and 2, when the big bucks come out and they get hungry, don't get out of your stand and come back. Take some cold meatloaf sandwiches to the stand with you, venison meatloaf sandwiches. I, I just got to try this stuff because I know it, I already know it tastes great because I've had it up there at Shirley and Bob's before, so. Mm. It is absolutely adorable. Try this on your next outing out the camp. Whip up some venison meatloaf, a little bit of mac and cheese, bring the kids in, have a wonderful lunch. Is this the best venison meatloaf anywhere you've ever ate? If it ain't, it ought to be. This is Steve Hall saying, we'll see you next time. I can't hardly wait to get that line delivered so I can have another bite. Hey everybody, thanks for watching Cooking with Shotgun Red. If you enjoy our recipes, become a subscriber to our cooking channel. And you'll be the first to know when a new recipe is posted. We'll see you next time and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. This is Shotgun Red saying thanks a lot. Pew.